Hello guys, and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, the game of thrones, where we will be playing as Magister Valerian, House Sea Drake. Well, we're in an interesting situation here, aren't we? <laughs> Let's go over a couple of things. First of all, we are in the war of, or the start date of Nine Penny Kings. We have mainly the monstrous who hates me, uh, and the Iron Throne with Aegon the Fifth who also hates me. Two sides of the Valyrian coin, and we, as a Valyrian, I'm sure may be involved in this. But of course, Malus with his Band of Nine, all people pursuing power in different regions. There's a good chance Mir or Pentos could be a target. And of course, Pentos would be relevant to us. We are of House Seadrake, a bastard line uh, that I've completely separated because we are we're quite similar, I like to think, to the, the sort of book definitions of... Oh, why am I looking over here? They won't be here. But uh, there's some houses in this region which are linked with, you know, extinct houses but aren't directly descendants of them. Because we are linked with House Valarian, but we do not have concrete proof of it. We have the Valyrian, you know, appearance. We have the white hair. We have all the look. We have the Valyrian blood. But our origins are a bit shrouded. Some say that we are a bastard line of Corliss Valarian, the sea snake. Others say we're of the hulls. Some say that we're a bastard of a bastard, that we're actually linked with the long waters but the truth of our origin is hard to tell because for a while our line existed mostly as merchants and sellswords uh, a merchant family within pentos itself however four three four generations ago we were or rather the sort of head and the founder of the house was a man known as balon Balon Seadrake, who found this corner of Pentos and found it incredible when he sailed upon it. He felt as if these sides here were a jaw of a beast, of a dragon itself, closing upon him, these mountains becoming teeth. He called it the jaw, and when he and some others claimed the land, they, they officially named it as the dragon's jaw. Uh, the jaw, the dragon's jaw, many different names for it. This land itself, the land he conquered, uh, now known as Dragon's Moor, uh, he originally came and set up a small outpost on this isle, now known as Dragon's Peak, before sending in troops with a golden company he had hired, or you know, a, a company he had hired, to secure the old town uh, down here, called the Mandible, of course meaning Lower Jaw. Uh, a name he had given to it. Its original name being something like Nomodogian or Nomodonian something. This old town on the south bank was accompanied by, after his conquest, a new city on the north bank. This major sort of uh, keep he's built. Only level 2, but you know, we're going to be upgrading this throughout, getting it higher and higher and higher and higher because we know it's worth. We know that it is worth investing in. And the city beside it, uh, this town, which is still called uh, Nontelos, because uh, I'm going to leave up to you guys what we want to name this town. But personally, Nontelos is the name that it held before, that this whole region held before. This river sort of continues on and gives us sort of claims on both of these lands through that river. But this conquest of the jaw puts us in an interesting, uh, interesting position. We are technically still members of Pentos. We still have our ties to uh, some family in Pentos who are still merchants. And we are, uh, you know, they're all princely arbiters, but we ourselves are actually faith of the law. Uh, and we'll get into this in, in, in a few ways. So, Magister Valarian himself grew up, as we can see, a skilled and notable fighter. And this sort of skill held him to a point where he looked like he could be, you know, continuing in, in the routes of these cell swords. But with these landed 
claims perhaps he could be a large conqueror, taking territory for himself. However, at the age of 16, during his training, his uh, sword fighting went awry and he was blinded. Both eyes taken, a single sl uh, slash of the blade. And from that day forward, he has been, you know, many people jokingly or mockingly call him Valerian the Blind. Because he, he is indeed true. He, unfortunately for him, cannot see. That did not stop him from inheriting his title with his wife, Rhaenyra, and who is pregnant with their second child, as a year ago they gave birth to their first son, Melis. Melis Seadrake. Uh, he is going to be a very interesting sort. But playing a blind man is going to be very interesting. So, in my mind, the religion they held before may have been Faith of the Seven, you know, coming from Corlys, coming from those connections. May have switched to Prince the Arbiter, but Faith of Valor is a decision Valerian himself took because a Red Priestess came to him uh, in his early 20s. And despite his blindness, the Red Priestess was able to make him see the fires and see visions through these fires. Maybe some tricks or something rudimentary, but nonetheless, he felt he could see. And this gave him the belief in Rolor. Lucky for him, Rolor also kind of matched his attitude. A greedy, rude, arrogant and ambitious person. And we are definitely going to be playing him like that. So I could go over a whole bunch of introductions and going over a highly detailed history, but this campaign, this the somewhat a B series, the A series will remain House Cinder. I'm having a lot of fun with House Cinder. But this series I want to still have a story and explore a story, but have a more of a casual look at the game and just enjoy the game a bit. We are gonna go with income or stewardship. He's already on twenty six. But income wise we are earning very, very well to start with, so I may go for Stewardship instead. We're definitely going to be going stewardship focus for uh, his reign. I don't know if his son. I'll train his son to be stewardship just because, you know, Valerian's good at stewardship. But if Malis takes a different path, then he'll take a different path. Building cost, collect tax, golden hooks, and get a free fort level because having a fort level is wonderful. You missed her. Good. Obviously, we start with a lot of money because everyone in Pentos just starts with an incredible amount of money. <laughs> I don't fully know why. Wonderful, wonderful. I was going to say my first move is going to be to conquer them, but the Lord of Pentos is going to give them to us as vassals. Because we do hold rights to these lands as uh, the jaw. These, these are sort of the jaw lands of us. Let's make us a steward. The jaw is just sort of a temporary title. I don't fully know what I want to call it. I've considered... I may actually temporarily change it to Dragon's Jaw. Just for now. If you have name suggestions about what this Dutch title should be called, let me know. Because I'm very open to changing this title specifically. I do like Dragon's Moor and the Mandible. So these are going to stay. If you have name suggestions for any of these counties as well... Feel free to give them. I'm okay with naming, sort of renaming everything, considering as far as I'm aware, these lands aren't fully canon. Is she not already pregnant? Did she get double pregnant? Well, that may have been something to get weird with the setup, because to set this whole thing up, I did have to do a model too. I know, how dare I mod a paradox game. Uh, that was a successor, wasn't it? So you should now have a successor. Actually, we can invest in this a little bit. We have some spare capital. Let's get these up. All of these up to size 4. We could just go... Do we have light footmen here? We don't actually have light footmen, but we could also get armoured footmen or dragon guard. 
it would be super to get Dragon Guard. A Dragon Guard just flat out worse than Dragon Knights. I think they are, but Dragon Knights are super expensive. If it if it is a pond for carps you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The other performer has good credentials, and my courtiers are very excited about the project. I can make a great deal with him. The second son. Wonderful, wonderful. You can name after me, Valerian. Taris. Jaharis. Helix. Aaron. De I like Daron. Daron's a wonderful name. We could go for crossbowmen. I do think getting a couple dragon guard would make sense. But so would getting some dragon knights. I don't I don't I think going into armies this early does make a lot of sense because we're probably the most powerful. Yeah, we're very powerful in this region. Ooh. Good. Let him let him out some changes. Pentos is... I wanted to do a game in Pentos because I am just absolutely in love with this model. What a model. Oof. Beautiful city, beautiful city. And also a region that is sort of unexplored compared to others in uh, Game of Thrones. So we can sort of make our own stories and our own histories in the region. Like, this just feels like something that you'd absolutely name after a dragon. But... Nope. And this this bay here, Drake's Bay. Not only do we have this sort of wealthy alignment here, but this is a super well protected region when you think about it. To get to Drake's Bay, you'd have to pass through this narrow sea, which you can actually see the, the game is showing you this is so narrow that you'd have to use smaller boats. Smaller boats have to dock up here. And not only that, this is super well defended, and we have uh, Dragon's Peak here as a lookout, which we can actually do some upgrade in. Let's get dev growth. Dev growth up here. Ooh. And upgrade the ghost here. A new magister. To my worthless vassal, I have come to the inexplorable conclusion that you are the oh, best can oh, you are the best candidates I have for my open council position. Though it pains me to do so, I'm unfortunately obligated to put, uh, position you as the steward of Pentos. What a dick. Could have said it in any nicer way, you know, you didn't have to be so mean about it. Could do with a captain of the household guard, just because I'm worried. You know, I am a foreigner, and my religion is not so normal to them, so it's also make them spawn shield. Just keep us safe there. Oh! Nailus is, is charming. So I could petition him, but I really don't know what I'd even want from him, and I also know he hates me. We sell subjects. I don't need capital development. Well, I'd like it, but I don't, I'm not going to get it. It's more the point. Let's see, so is Malus? I was about to say, is Malus making a move? I don't know about you guys. I think Malus might have died. And Malus does not have any heir because he has an event to kill his son. So the band of nine just kind of live in this region now then. <laughs> Great news for Aegon, he doesn't have to worry about a, an upcoming war. Because he just, I guess, probably died of a illness. Concubine. I'm only going to go pick her uh, because she, culture-wise, is not great, but it's at least of the same religion. Do a whole bunch of wars, but I don't know why I do them. Why can I go to war with Mir? What would it even be for? Oh, just a slave raid. We're not going to bother with that. We do indeed have a slave raid. Of course, being Relore, uh, long. I mean, we definitely have ties to Westeros. We had ties to this, you know, a nation that had long banned slavery. So there was no doubt that in our line, we have taken a step backwards almost to allow this. And I'm sure there were people who probably looked down on us for doing so. But it's earning us money. Uh, we're earning 30% holding taxes in our capital. Oh, we can upgrade this one as well. And I'm going to do it. Because, I mean, let's, let's be real. This blind man does 
with a rude, greedy, arrogant, and ambitious. I don't think he's going to be screaming pious things and respect for the slaves. He's definitely just an asshole. But maybe a lovable asshole. I hope a lovable asshole. That'd be wonderful. Interesting. He doesn't actually pay me any money then. But it's not that I can change. Maybe it's different in Pentos then. We are all Magisters. But of course our titles are all um, Inheritance. The only one that isn't is the free city itself. However, I have plans. I have plans I cannot announce. If we conquer a significant region in the south, I'm, we may just be able to take the city ourselves. And rather than conquering the quote unquote the kingdom title, we'll just take piece by piece by piece by piece and form our own kingdom. That's sort of a long term plan. For now, I'm just focused on the south. So we should. Get to work on Archon here. See if we can get a claim on this duchy. Is this just a natural duchy? It is. That'd be a great duchy to have. There's also a duchy here, but nobody owns it. Earning a lot on tax, so I could maybe... Don't know why we're on one speed there. Could increase development in the capital. Or I could promote culture, but... Let's be real, promoting a Saucy Valyrian is going to take years, yeah, 45 years. So a generation and a half to even get one province, a Saucy Valyrian. Which isn't even my culture, I'm High Valyrian. But, you know, it's the closest we're going to get to it. I don't need to petition Liege. Culture acceptance obviously would take a less time. Religion could be an interesting one to do. There is a law in this area, as far as I'm aware, at least. Yeah, we ha we own some law. There's some law in our south. So we won't be too hated for it. The rest is all uh, Weeping Lady. Which is a region which I believe is mostly yeah, in Lease, is where it's worshipped. Though Lease itself actually worships... Oh, this time they do. I, I think it's, it's... By the time of Robert's Rebellion, they do worship uh, the Trios in Lease. So, Malich, I've been hosting your Chancellor for some time now. Though he didn't impose himself on my home, all while encouraging no, encouraging no less than the groveling servitude to you. Discuss me. What lord would you send such a terrible representative? Or would send me? He's just doing all he can to make everybody hate me. Even though you specifically tell men to make people like me. Hmm. He's super weak, so I should go for somebody stronger in that position. Keep them happy. Keeping uh, a happy council is the most annoying and difficult step, but it's also most important. Mandibles being upgraded. Nothing we can do there. That's being upgraded. Uh, let's upgrade the hill forts in Dragon's Peak. Oops, his holding's upgrading itself. That's the thing about being in this region, is even your vassals are rich enough that they can sort of um, build their own stuff. We do have this temple, which is like very rudimentary. I don't know why you... You can build some of them. I don't know if they even affect like your troops, though. I'm going to build warrior lodges in a temple and see how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to say no, I cannot, just because I want him to keep going to see if he can get the duchy one. I think it's a, it's a chance, it's a percentage that he can strike on getting the duchy. Which would be ideal if it would happen. Olinos. This is a whole another region I was looking at. I, I chose this region because this region is just a lot of fun. But Olinos is, is... The whole thing about this Bay of Pentos, it's, it just makes sense. It's like, ooh, I can go to a... Wait, I can't go? You're not inviting me, you dick. Sort of natural bay to build into. Like this is exactly where you'd build a capital. Bravos, kinda like this. This does make a good bay. Mia, you know this. This is a good bay as well. So this does make sense. Tarosh and Islands makes sense. Lease and Island makes sense. King's Landing is 
find the good because the black water is a difficult place to get through. The capital that doesn't make sense to me is Valyria itself. It's the middle of this island, I believe. Yeah, it would be here. It would be Valyria as a capital. I guess when you've got dragons, you can just do whatever you want. Keep in mind, if you're saying, oh, it's, big, you know, it's an island, it's a good spot. It's not an island. It's not an island. These were all connected. Don't get that as a capital. Oh, a guardian for my son. I think I'm probably the best option. Yeah, I'm already the highest, basically, every sap. So we're going to assign me as his guardian. Why can I... It's the weirdest possible route for sleep, right? So he does have feudal taxes. Why can I not see them? Is it a glitch? Maybe one of my mods? Not sure about that. Oh, I can enter a seclusion, which means there's a plague coming our way. Yes, cold humor flu. Uh, let's get our... Control plagues on our maester. Get centralization for that dev growth. Oh, I can build. Okay. This is what we need to consider then. What do we want as the duchy building? Because this is, you know, our. Okay, so I can go for just the town. Just or the duchy of Cozy and Coast. Why would I not go for the duchy there? That's a huge duchy to make claim for. It does have allies though. How many? Ooh. This might be tough actually. Definitely one I need to consider before leaving into it because he does have support. Let's get control up a bit. Should still have enough to do our duchy though. Die works. A light a lighthouse gives dev growth diplo range. Ta I mean they all give good tax. Most of them give good tax at least. Uh I'd not promoting culture, so we'll do that one in. Marsh is, is really good because of the fort level holding tax. Wow, it really just gives I didn't even know it gave holding taxes increase, but levy reinforcement and garrison size make, means that it's just a very well defended place, which is you do want for a capital. A third son. Megan is already the perfect name. I'm happy to go with Megan. Crown Smithy and Archer Ground. A tax office, which is just a flat 50% holding tax, which maybe not as good because we have slave camps, so we don't really need it. We've gone to war? Who with? Uh. The trade cities, what a name. Okay. I'll have a think about the duchy. Because maybe we'll want to save a little bit of money for this. For this war against the, the Conian coast. Oh, this, this is a plague related, isn't it? Oh, I've called the sheep. Worrying. Very, very worrying. Mm. Yeah, but duchy building or, or attack. It's a tough one to pick. Is he sending troops out? He is. But he still outnumbers us. Hmm. Am I able to get any allies? That's the question. Gold Tides isn't that strong. The town of Naylor in my south. Maybe not my first son. Can I give my newborn <laughs> preparing an alliance? You know, I I wouldn't do that, honestly. I think that's too soon. Five, though. Five does feel more acceptable. This one I'd be fine doing. Let's also get him an education focus on Marshall. 
Maybe I could go for these smaller ones before. Let's get a claim on these anyway. Because really we want to own all of this region. Darren's education focus changes to stewardship. This is one I've just given, right? Darren. Fine. I, I, if the game wants him to go for it, well, he'll go for it. He only has 1.6, but... I don't know. It's, it's his allies are the problem, I think, there. So Magister Helio, who is not really good at anything, but be a better admiral than what I have right now, so. Yep, he lost? How on earth do you lose that? That's the real question. I don't know how it's possible to lose. We are very close to getting Architect already. And getting Architect, you know, that's... That alone is going to push us into an sort of upper echelon, in a way. No, we're thinking of war. I think we just go from the Military Academy here. Because this gives us extra captains. Extra size of army to men-at-arms, which is going to be very important late game. Army's cheaper. Recruiting men at arms is cheaper. It would only be that on marshes really, but I think this is better. So we're going to give it three years to build. During that time, we're not going to expand our men at arms. But we're going to prepare to expand our men at arms. And then once we've expanded our men at arms, we'll go to war. A spy is discovered. It was Magister Stannis. Interesting. I'm not going to kill her. Or imprison her, though, for being a spy. Good thing my spy master caught that. They're all starting to come around to me. They all hated me rigidly, but now they hate me slightly less, so. Let's get on court intrigue just so we have an extra boost there. Ooh, I can get general poet. So I've written. Pangs of sorrow. No matter how many days twist and pass, life without him is a sick morass. Alone bereft without that sweet man. We wander, wondering where the hurt began. Am I writing like a love <laughs> Who am I writing about? <laughs> what? Journal of plus one or poet. Diplo Diplomacy per level of fame is very useful. It's better than just a flat plus one to learning. What does that enemy mean, though? <laughs> who, who was that poem for? I want to know more about you, Valerian. Who are you writing that poem for? Who's this this lost love of yours? We do. I haven't upgraded this city, though, but we do have this city, uh, which could be good to just get some flat levies in, and some cattle pastures. Same here as we could do with some flat levies. I mean, this is meant to be the. City anyway, right? So a militia camp makes sense in the mandible. This is going to be the the high and wealthy city. Uh, oh, we've got catapults just here as well. Just we we earn enough gold at this point. This is sort of almost uh, the whole reason it's a B series is that you earn so much you can kind of just relax a little bit and just let the money come in. But of course, everyone around you is also earning that much money, that you need to be cautious. You need to be actively aware that people are earning money around you. So. Zillow's flu, is that near us? No, it's up north. Spreading pretty quick, though. That might be a more major one if it's spreading that quickly. Oh, my uh, concubine is pregnant. Am I able to make you like me at all? Let's start swaying the Magister. This would be very useful to have a Magister who actually likes me. Make a new accolade. 
They all suck, so I'm not going to do that. I'm able to invite knights. Oh, sorry, they're captains. I should not be calling them knights. I got in in a CK2 video I was doing. Uh, I did of uh, the the House of Valor series. Someone pointed out I should stop calling them knights because that's a very specifically only a thing in Westeros. It's a faith of the seven thing to be a knight. So captains is the correct term. My bad. Hopefully we get some good captains. He's decent. We'll recruit him. Oh, she, I was about to say, did the boy die or she died? She died. She died giving birth to... I've only had sons so far. Rhaegar, Aenys, Viserys, Rhaegal, Eris, Rhaegal. Very sp specific names. It's like the same ones. Jiris. Let's go with Baelor. Only son so far, but that is a tough one. She died in childbirth. Let's... Let's do a chip focus. Honestly, the only way I can get over such a tragic thing is to go on a completely random hunt. <laughs> for no reason. So for hair sighting in the mandible. Sounds good to me. Oh, you can't do a hunt if you're blind. Really? I mean, it makes sense, but you thought I'd have, like, somebody guiding me around. Well, the main limit. Now, that's a huge one, isn't it? Do I have another city I can easily take? No, your own... Is there a second city in here? No, but I could construct one, right? No, you need a temple first? Ah. There's three things, though, so you could actually build a temple and two counties here. Which I'm considering. I am considering. But a temple's going to cost... Only 23 more gold, actually. I will quickly spend some money to get you to like me. Just because you want to have a spy who likes you. Rule one of having a spy is have them like you so that they don't try and kill you. So, to build a castle would be 308 and 308 so about 700 gold plus or 750 gold let's say we'd be spending to build a castle in here could be worth it though how's our son doing for stewardship not bad he's actually diplomacy is looking like his strong point i thought stewardship would be all for him but diplomacy is what he's picking up on very interesting we're gonna recruit you because you're amazing My next hunt will not cost any gold. I can't do hunts. I'd love to do a hunt, honestly, but unfortunately, that's not really in my options. There's an election going on. I feel like I could elect myself and I'd be rank free. Not bad. Let's make him an accolade then. Root you. Put Daeron as your successor. So that's a very strong one as well. It's part of the household guard. How close are we on? So we're about to build up the city capital. So maybe it may not... Honestly, we can just not build up this thing for a while. This is going to be an eventual goal to build this up. Because I do want to have this be... Like, you know, we have these two provinces and then... This three. And have these three be our main provinces. Throughout the game. Golden Shard. My kids love giving me money. How wonderful of them. Oh, now, now maybe it's time to strike because he's lacking in allies. Is this built? Yes, it is. So we can spend a little less on... Dragon Knight sounds 152 is great. Dragon Guards, 80. Let's just build a couple Dragon Guards. All Dragon Guards sounds wonderful, and he's going to be our main, so they'll be in Drake's Bay. They're going to take a little while to build up, I'd imagine, though. How much are they gaining a month? Let's have a look. A decent amount. We're going to wait one or two months, and then we're going to attack. Cynical or humble? Hmm. Cynical plus two intrigue plus two learning. Be quite a loss. 
Humble's not a bad one, though. I'm going to go with Humble. I think Humble's good. Um, I actually say no, I can lock just for now because I don't want to. Oh, a Leviathan. Where am I sailing to get a Leviathan? Leviathans uh, aren't in this region. Leviathans are actually sort of up here. Uh, around here. And then all down here. But I will get the harpoon. Oh, it escaped me, bastard. You will rule the day. Let's go for my claims. What? I can have him show me around his village or kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. Uh, let us... Rakish kind of just fits him in general, doesn't it? I mean, he's already been so awful with diplomacy this whole game. His diplomacy is... It's probably been helped by that service. Still eight. So he started very low. Tax lean, uh, tax reduction. Could kill him again. Why so many of my options to kill this guy? So reduce the holding tax. It's been increasing the moment. Fine. It's a notable drop, but... Let's take out this army very quickly. Or we can get Architect. Wonderful. So Architect gives us... Oh, I finally had a door that will name her in a second. I want to look at what Architect gives me. Plus two stewardship. Minus 15 construction time. Minus 10 construction cost. Minus 15 construction time. Or holding construction time. Because very, very good. So, Danis, Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra. Okay, so Elena, Dana, Vesera, uh, Bela. I like Bela. I do like them. Let's go with Bela. We'll keep it humble. I've already been over how humble is actually a good trait. It's funny because I'm awful. And yet I'm raining, raising kids to actually be quite humble and nice. He wants me to attack him. I'm not going to. I'm going to see what he's going to do here. Because I may just keep going sitting on this siege. Because I'm so close. Are you going to try and attack me from here? No. Nope. Well, I'm, I'm getting stewardship perks so quickly. So I could go for these war ones for administrator. So administrator is diplomacy, stewardship, battle, opinion, plague resistance. And then avaricious is stewardship and holding taxes. Dude, I do like battle taxes and war profiteer and stuff because it's very good to... Armies can get very expensive with men at arms. So it is good to have these men at protections against men at arms being too expensive. I'd rather give him a weak hook than like because he could just use it obviously to reduce my taxes on him anyway, but maybe he might use it for something less than taxes. And if I can keep taxes high, I will keep taxes high. Why do I not have a commander on this army? Get on there, buddy. We defeated that army without a commander because I wasn't paying attention. That's about right. Okay, we've broken the walls though. So hopefully our siege... Oh no, they're both going to be free months. I'll say our siege might be done first. Oh, it may still be done first actually. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be done. With days to spare. I could end this right now, but I kind of just want to go attack him again. Before I end it. Just beat down what resistance he has. Also, I just think it's more fun to treat wars as if, you know, they're actual things worth fighting in. So already, you can see we've expanded ourselves out quite a lot. And then we'll put them out. Everyone would hate me from doing it, so I'm not... Don't think it's going to be a wise move to do that. Try and build up our control. So I'm going to keep on to Archon for now. Just until I build 
the other provinces here, and then I will grant it away. That's my hope, at least. Or I guess more my logic, at least. They came to my capital and then disbanded. It's as if you just... It's like, ah, oh, it's not safe disbanding at home. Go on, lads. Go all the way over to his lands and then uh, give up. You have a dangerous faction. So it was a faction who immediately wanted to restore the guy I just kicked out. Okay. I see how it is. It's clear they weren't going to like me. Uh, he sucks at everything. You suck at everything. Hmm. What's the best way of dealing with this faction? So he's the claimant. New Magister? What could I do? Can I kill him? Be an awful murder scheme. Very low chance. He's 27%. So he's the most turnable, I'd imagine. Let's try and get him at least close to turning. Or at least, like, teetering on the line, perhaps. A Grand Tour could be good. Maybe save up a bit to a Grand Tour. But right now I've got a whole bunch of things I say I'm saving up for. So I'm not too sure. I do think this expansion is our best route, because expanding early here, you know, is going to give us more time to build into it. You know, the earlier we have money here, the more that money's going to spread. I'm going to say no, I cannot on most of that because I don't see a point in doing this expansion so much right now. The woman I dream about. Once again, I wake with a beating heart and remnants of a fire smoldering in my loins. Many nights have passed as I shared a bed with a beautiful woman I stumbled upon during my nightly excursions, but my longing only grows. I mean, I picked the option that reduces my stress. I imagine if you had Lustful, then the other option would be an awful idea. Uh, yeah, we'll train you under the Maester. How many wars? And they're all slave wars. Oh, is there a war going on here? Peasant uprising that he can't seem to actually fight. Oh no, he's fighting. With certainty. I took Darren out playing with a bow. To my surprise, he ran out into a wounded doe. He did not hesitate in the slightest to bring it down. Well, greatness awaits him. No doubt. Well. Let's have a look at Dragon's Jaw now. It's far more than just the Dragon's Jaw. And maybe needs a new name just for how extensive a uh, take of land this is. But, oh look, the guy I was actually talking about over here is now the new Magister. Good on him. We are in a very strong position to start out. A little bit of conquest, a little bit of subjugation, a little bit of just enjoying and growing naturally. If you guys have enjoyed, please do leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, anything that, you know, helps with engagement. I make these series and I really enjoy making them and I hope... You enjoy them too. If you are interested in supporting me in further ways, uh, you can check out my Patreon. Uh, my main series uh, is always up a week early on the Patreon. Or an episode early, it's more accurate on the Patreon. So you can check it out. Uh, thank you so much for all the supporters so far. You're wonderful people. And if you're interested, I'll be doing some Twitch streams the week this goes up. I'll be streaming some Destiny on Friday, and then on Saturday, we're going to be doing a grand campaign. That's right. This will be the part one in a live streamed grand campaign. This one's going to be on a Saturday, but it may be moving around the day I do the grand campaigns, depending on uh, the Crusader Kings 3 AGOT multiplayer game. If you want to know about the multiplayer game, check out my description. Come join me. I'd love for you to come join us. Signups are now open. So sooner rather than later, this game's going to be starting. About a week or two weeks from now, we're going to be playing some Crusader for Kings free multiplayer. So you better come join us. Hopefully our mailis won't end up like this mailis. <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to see the next episode. That'll be up next week. Until then.